good morning. So we're ready to start on a summative assignment using one point perspective. And we're ready to go over the first step of that today. So because this is a summative assignment, it will be turned in for a final grade. You're really gonna wanna take your time, um, pay attention to presentation with this. So to get started, you're gonna need a heavy or a thick sheet of white paper that I sent home in that folder. It's nine inches by 12 inches. You can turn the paper either direction. I'm working horizontally just so you can see most of my paper on the screen. You will need a ruler or straight edge just like we've been talking about with these assignments. You're gonna need an eraser, a pencil, and then um, a variety of squares or rectangles. You can find pre-made shapes like the Legos or Duplos or anything at home that's a square or rectangle. Um, or you can use your ruler to draw them. It's really up to you, but you are gonna wanna have at least three um, or more varieties of rectangles and squares. Okay, so for this one, we are actually just going to be putting a vanishing point on our paper, and it is 100% up to you where you place the vanishing point. Um, I wouldn't go too far off to the side, um, or too far to the bottom, or too far to the top. Um, you don't have to put it in the center, but let's try doing one that's a little off center and see what this looks like. Um, I'm gonna put it right here. So this is going to be my vanishing point for my entire project. I'm not going to draw it super dark, um, but I am going to start there. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to begin laying out my um, squares and rectangles. And for this, I want you to get really creative with how you lay them out. Um, so, you know, some might be tilted, some will be upright, some will probably be going off the page. Okay, so I have one on here. And then this is gonna be a little bit different this time. Uh, this time, all you're gonna be doing is putting the orthogonal lines in for this assignment. We are actually not going to be putting in the sides to form the cubes. Because we want a very um, specific effect with this assignment. So we are just going to be connecting back to the vanishing point um, from the corners and we're only going to do it for the corners where we would actually see the lines. So we're not going to see this so we're just going to leave this like this. Okay we're also not going to be erasing our, our, our orthogonals on this assignment. So next I'm going to come in and put in another one. Think about where I want to put this. This one maybe I'll have it going straight or I'll tilt it the other direction and I'm gonna go partially off of the paper for this one. And then I am going to, of course, connect back to my vanishing point. So I can put this on here and think about where that line would go here. Okay. And I'm going to clean this up a little bit because I'm not, you know, I'm thinking, oh, this is a summative assignment. I want it to look really good. So I'm going to line this back up and I'm going to put that line in a little bit neater because it got a little bit messy. I didn't like the way that looked. Okay. Maybe I'll use my ruler for this one. I really want these edges to be sharp and to really stand out. That's looking better. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in. There we go. Yeah, I'm happier with that. So I'm gonna um, erase and just put that line back in. And again, you wanna draw lightly so that if you have any issues like that, um, you can fix them without leaving a really dark mark on your paper. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to continue to lay these boxes um, out and you'll see what this looks like in a couple of minutes once I've finished my page. Okay. Okay, so I've only added uh, two more rectangles, but I wanted to take a minute to show you what it's going to look like when we overlap right now. 
So once you overlap a square on top of some orthogonals, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come inside of that square or rectangle you just drew, and you are going to remove any lines from the previous uh, orthogonals. So I'm gonna put my line for my cube or box back in here, and then I will start putting in my converging or orthogonal lines. So I'm just making sure those edges are nice and sharp. And now I'm gonna go back in and connect corners to the vanishing point. This corner is going to go to the vanishing point and it's actually gonna line up with the former one. And then we're gonna come over to this side and put the orthogonal in here to the vanishing point. So I'm gonna go in with my eraser, pull out the orthogonal line from the previous box, because you wouldn't see it because this one's on top of it, and then put this orthogonal back in, okay? So we're seeing how to overlap there. I wanted to take a minute to show you that because I do want you to overlap um, a handful of your boxes in this design. Okay, so I'll check back in once I have a few more put on my paper. Okay, so um, I wanna check back in with you because you're gonna probably have questions about this as you work. So when you're doing um, rectangles or squares that are going off of your paper, what you wanna do is make sure that you keep that in the place that you originally put it. So you should be able to do that by lining it back up with the outline. <clears throat> and then to figure out where the line from this would be, you're gonna line your ruler up with the corner of the box as it's off of the page. Hold that in place. And then do your orthogonal line from there. So that you're actually getting it in the right spot. Because if you just do it from um, any old place, you may not end up with the right line. So make sure that you put this on here and that you have the end or the corner of the shape you use lined up and you go back to the vanishing point with it to get it nice and crisp and in the right spot. Okay, we'll check back in in a couple more minutes. Okay, I uh, have another box on here and again, want to check back in and show you this in case you run into this issue. So I placed this here and traced around it and I began putting my orthogonal lines in. So I'm going from the corner, connecting to the vanishing point, corner to the vanishing point. Okay, I did not put an orthogonal line in here from this one because when I lined my ruler up, I could see that that line wouldn't actually be seen, okay? And then from here, if I go from this corner and I have the ruler lined up to the vanishing point, that line is already there because of where it's placed. So this box is going to be just like this and it is drawn correctly. Um, you just have to trust that if you line the ruler up in the right spot that you are checking for um, the correct orthogonal that sometimes you're not going to see all the lines. Okay, So just know that that does happen occasionally. It's probably going to be a little bit odd to you when it initially happens, but trust that you are doing it correctly. All right, we'll check back in again in a couple of minutes. Okay, so I'm putting in another overlapping box and I just wanna show you this again. So I've traced my rectangle. I'm gonna erase the orthogonal that's currently going through it because I no longer need that there. It will be covered up. And I am going to connect my corners with my ruler to the vanishing point as I have done with all of my previous boxes. Okay, so we're seeing here from this corner to this vanishing point, we wouldn't see that line, right? Because it would be going through the box, so I'm not gonna put it in. I'm gonna continue to check my other orthogonals. So, I'm gonna go from this corner to the vanishing point. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna erase the orthogonal that's going right here because it would be covered up by the ones we just drew. So we're gonna pull that one out, okay? And then I'm gonna check again, my last corner. I'm not gonna put that in because it would be going through my box and we wouldn't see it, okay? 
So we're gonna keep going and we'll check back in again. Okay, so I have finished laying out all of my shapes, uh, all of my uh, rectangles and squares, and I'm pretty much done with this, I think, um, as far as laying it out goes. So here's what it looks like right now, and I am going to uh, do a second video for the second step in this process, and we'll see if I decide to add any more cubes or rectangles or boxes. But at this point, I think I'm pretty happy, so um, we'll check back in in the next video series. Remember to bring questions that you have about this assignment to class, and I'll see you later. Bye!